Hi guys, happy Memorial Day weekend. I'm so excited that we're getting super duper close to day one of our group. And if you have been doing your little homework every single day, then you should be ready to get started on Monday. And if you haven't, then you've got some catching up to do this weekend. But I wanted to talk today about some meal prep tips that you're probably going to be doing tomorrow um, because you're going food shopping today, hopefully. And also, I want to talk about taking measurements and photos. So the first thing um, I'll talk about is the meal prep stuff, um, because that's probably the most entertaining and interesting for you guys anyway. Um, so basically, I have a couple of tips I wanted to share about meal prep to help make your life easier. So the first thing when you're meal prepping is you want to have your meal plan in front of you the whole time so you know what to make, how much of it to make. Um, you should have gone food shopping so you have all your food, everything's out. Um, and you want to make as much as you can ahead of time as possible. So some things I make ahead of time are eggs. I'll boil like a dozen at a time and I usually have two at a time so that's like six snacks that, I, that takes like 12 minutes to make. Um, I will also make all of my chicken for the week, so I can, there's a couple ways you can do it. First way, you can just grill a bunch of chicken. Uh, it's summertime, so the barbecue grill is fun. You can bake a bunch of chicken. I usually do 350 for about a half an hour, depending on how thin you slice it. And another way, which is my favorite way to make chicken, it's like the easiest thing on the planet, is to have a crock pot and you just put your chicken in there and you throw a jar of salsa on top of it with a little bit of wine and it's amazing. You can put that on salads, you can make tacos with it, you can just eat it plain as is, you can throw it on a bowl like a rice bowl, so good. So that's tip uh, about the chicken. Eggs, you can always do those ahead of time. Um, if you have fruit and vegetables, depending on what kind of fruit it is, if it's like strawberries, um, you can do this or if it's melon or mango or anything that's kind of large You want to cut it up and prep that ahead of time so that instead of reaching for the snacks you reach for the fruit um, If it's something like an apple or a pear or something that's kind of already grab and go then I wouldn't cut it plus it'll get bad um, So definitely prepare as much of the fruit as you can ahead of time makes it a lot easier for you to just put it in your container and eat it um, also two vegetables if you have celery, if you have peppers, if you have um, carrots, if you bought like big whole carrots, cut them up ahead of time and put it in like a big Ziploc bag in the refrigerator so it's easy grab and go when you want a snack. Um, some other tips for meal prepping, um, any kind of meat you can make ahead of time, turkey, beef, steak. The only thing I don't like to make ahead of time is seafood just because I think it tastes rubbery when you reheat it in the microwave. Um, but any other meat you can make ahead of time. You can make a bunch of roasted vegetables ahead of time, just like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, peppers, mushrooms. Those all are really good when you roast them, even asparagus too. Um, so you can just toss them in olive oil, throw a little salt and pepper on them, throw them in the oven, bake them on like 350 for like 20 minutes or so. And you'll have a bunch of vegetables that you can just keep eating for your dinners the whole week. Um, another tip too, if it gets to like Wednesday, Thursday of the week and you have a lot of stuff left in your refrigerator, take it, portion it, put it in like Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer so that all you have to do is pull it out and defrost it so it doesn't go bad for the second half of the week, but you also won't have to cook, you'll just kind of defrost things. That's another, another fun tip. Um, I'm trying to think what else would be helpful. Um... Just really anything you can prepare ahead of time, just do that. Um, keep in mind some things will go bad if you do them ahead of time. But if you have like a big head of lettuce, it doesn't hurt to wash it and cut it up and put it in a Ziploc bag with like a paper towel in there to absorb the moisture. Bleh, moisture. I hate that word. Moisture so it doesn't go bad. Um, just different things like that. Just, just be smart about it. Anything you can prepare ahead of time will definitely make your life easier. Okay, so those are my meal prep tips. Now, as far as the measurements and photos go, 
all the info that you need for that, I just created an album. It's called Example Before Photos and Measurements. In that album, you will see there's a, a photo. In the first photo, it says, before and after photos and measurements, click the link in the description of this photo to submit your before photos and measurements before you begin your program. Now, there's two links in that photo. The one is a Dropbox. The first one is a Dropbox link. And in that Dropbox link is where I need you to submit your before photos and your measurements. The second one is a link to a measurement tracker. So you need to print that out and fill out your measurements on that tracker, take a picture of it, and then submit it to the Dropbox folder. You can submit to that Dropbox folder right from your phone. You don't have to email it to yourself. You don't have to be on a computer to use it. You should be able to just click the link and it'll open it up whether or not you have a Dropbox and you'll be able to select the photos from your photo album on your phone and upload them right to that album. Your photos need to be in there before we start on Monday or I'm not gonna let you start. And I'm not trying to be mean, but I need you to do that because at the end of your first 30 days, I want you to be able to look back and say, oh my gosh, look what I did. I accomplished something. I changed my body. I have amazing results. And the only way you're going to know is if you keep track and you have photos from day one. So I need you to do that. Um, you can take them today or you can take them tomorrow morning might be the best. Uh, it's best to take them at the same time. So if you're going to take them in the morning today, take them in the morning at the end of your program as well so you can compare. Also, your weight, take it first thing in the morning when you wake up. Don't eat anything. Um, wear minimal clothing. If you want to weigh yourself naked, do that. I'm, I'm always going to see you. Uh, so if you want to get the exact measurement, then do that. Also, take your measurements. Um, there's a video or there should be a video in the albums, I'm just going to double check and make sure that it's in there before I tell you it is. If it's not, I will include it. Um, let's see in the albums. Okay, yes. So the how to, there's an album called More Cool Stuff to Help You Succeed. And if you go to the one that says how to videos, there is one that says, um, well, there should be one that says how to take your measurements but there's not. So I'm going to upload a how to take your measurements video to the measurement and um, photos album because that makes the most sense. So I will upload that. That will be there. I'll put that on that first photo. I'll link it in there so you can watch the video and know how to take your measurements if you have any questions about that. Um, but the printable tracker shows you everything. It shows you where to put the tape. It shows you how to measure. So it should should be self-explanatory, but if you need that video, I'll upload that in there too. Um, but make sure you do them. I know that it's the thing that nobody wants to do, like nobody wants to take their weight and measurements and photos, but at the end of your program, I promise you, you're going to be so happy that you did it. Plus, nobody's going to see them because you upload them to the Dropbox folder. They just go in the Dropbox folder. Like I'm the only one who can see them. Nobody else in this group can have access to that folder. They just can upload things to it. They can't see what's in it. So nobody's going to see your photos. Nobody's going to like see your measurements. Nobody's going to know how much you weigh or whatever or how big your waist is or how small your arm is. Nobody's going to know. Um, so just make sure you do that at least by Sunday night because Monday is day one. And I want to make sure that all of that is submitted on Sunday and also that your contract is submitted. So make sure if you haven't done that yet that you do that. Um, but that's about it for today. I would love if you could comment below and... I want to know what you're the most excited about starting on Monday. And also let me know where you are with your homework, like what you have left to do so I know um, who that I need to get on your butt and make sure that you get your shit done <laughs> so you can get started. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will be hopping in again tomorrow to talk about some PD stuff and making sure everybody is ready to go on Monday. But if you have any questions in the meantime, please ask and enjoy your weekend. Bye.